Twits up! I'm knocked up! Madge, the Vag is pregnant! Again! This is my second child, and it's been a while. So, we're getting back to basics. Let's play the game! It's the ABCs of pregnancy. I'm gonna say a word, and you're gonna tell me what it means. Okay, here we go, cervix. Uh, that's like the inside of it, right? It's the opening to the uterus. Yay! Okay, okay. <laughs> what does dilated mean? It means your vagina is opening up. It's like when you go to optometrist uh -huh. and they put those drops in your yeah. eyes and the baby comes out. Are we ready to go dive in head first? Let's do it. <laughs> Let's talk about the cervix. It's like the door to and from your uterus. Mm -hmm. So what does it mean to be dilated? The cervix is the lower part of the uterus that protrudes into the vagina. It feels like a hard ball, but it looks pretty much like like a round opening like this. If you've never had a baby before, it, the opening from the outside looking in is almost, almost a pinpoint, maybe a small circle. If you've had a baby before, because the cervix has opened and closed, it tends to look more of like a slit. So when we're talking about the cervix dilating, as you get further along in pregnancy, like the late third trimester, the cervix starts to remodel. It gets softer, um, almost like a mushy uh, consistency. It starts to get thinner, and then it can also start to open. Do you know what effacement is? Ooh, no. Ooh, I she gave me the face. Uh, I was like, does that have to do with like the the angle of the baby? It's when the baby is in the right position, head first, right? No, oh. I, nobody knows this one. So for a first time mom, I usually like to say of my, my fingers, that's how long the cervix normally is. And as it's remodeling, it's getting softer and it's getting thinner, and that's what we refer to as effacement. And it's given in percentages. And it's the percentage of how it has gotten shorter from its original length. Oh. So it shortens and opens. I did it with you. How do I know how big my cervix is? Do you use like a little vag ruler or do you use your fingers to measure it? We pretty much use our finger to measure the length. Um, you know, during pregnancy you do get sonograms, um, so you can get the, a measurement of the cervix. Uh, it's not 100% accurate, but using especially a transvaginal ultrasound, you can get a measurement of the cervix. We usually do that towards the beginning of pregnancy or um, around 20 weeks just to make sure that it's not getting too short. But if not, we can also do a, a pretty good estimate of the length of the cervix by using our hand. What happens if you have a doctor with giant hands? So your cervix needs to be 10 centimeters dilated to give birth? Pretty much when you can no longer feel any cervix, we'll say that you're fully dilated, which is what we usually say is 10 centimeters. The main point is that you want the cervix to be completely removed from the baby's head to where when you're doing your exam and you're swooping your finger around, you don't feel any remaining cervix. All you feel is the baby's head with the vagina around it. Do you know what a mucus plug is? No. You shouldn't. I don't want to know what that you is. Don't. I don't. Um, is that attached to the umbilical cord? Basically like the, the cork stop that keeps in the amniotic fluid, I think, and when it comes out, that's when the fluid's <laughs> coming out. Wow, that's really disgusting. Mm -hmm. <laughs> ah! What is the mucus plug? So the mucus plug is a barrier that your body makes, um, especially under the effect of progesterone towards the beginning of pregnancy. Um, and it is mucus that sits on the inner part of the cervix to try and prevent bacteria from getting into the uterus and preventing infection from happening. And then what happens to that mucus plug? Does it pop out? It does. As the cervix is effacing and even starting to dilate, it's no longer being held in place but it doesn't mean anything. It does just because your mucus plug came out, it doesn't mean that you're gonna go into labor in the next 24 hours. Oh. Uh, you don't necessarily need to call your doctor or go to the hospital um, to be like, oh, my mucus plug came out. If you continue to leak fluid or start bleeding, then that'd be something you'd wanna let your doctor know, okay. but just because the mucus plug came out, just means that your cervix is starting to change, but it doesn't mean that you're going into labor. What does the mucus plug look like? Exactly like you say, mucus. So it oh. can be a little thick in texture. Sometimes it's clear, sometimes it has a little yellow, maybe even a little pink, because there might be a little bit of blood mixed in it. Um, and it just has a little glue-like consistency. Do you know what sweeping the membranes are? No, I've never heard that term. Do you know the song Insane in the Membrane? Oh yeah, oh. Nothing to do with it. No, oh, okay, thank you. A lot of cloudy things in your brain, and you're like, ow, ow, like this is, this is too much, you know? Again, it's in the vagina. All right. What about sweeping membranes? 
Can you explain that? Like, why do you do it? When do you do it? How do you do it? Your provider will use their examining hand to insert their finger into the open cervix and then with the water bag or the amniotic sac, you're trying to gently put your finger between the cervix and the water bag in the lower part of the uterus and you're literally sweeping your finger around and separating the amniotic sac off the lower part of the uterus. And by doing that, it can release those same cytokines and prostaglandins that help the cervix to thin out, soften, and even possibly cause contractions that could help you go into labor. Can I sweep my own membranes? Likely not, and I would not recommend uh, sweeping your own membranes. You definitely want to make sure you're using sterile gloves um, and doing it in a controlled, safe environment, so let your provider do it for you. From dilation, to effacing, to sweeping membranes, your vagina is a wonderland filled with a mucus plug. So, if you're ready to have a baby like me, I hope you'll feel better about what lies ahead. I'm Madge the Vag. If you have any questions or comments, put them in my box. My inbox, that is. <laughs>